Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So, we just got home. Um, so I took, I brought in most of the stuff earlier when I came in. I've been home for like 20 minutes now. Um, got most of the stuff brought in. I haven't gotten to put away yet or anything, but Ella was very adamant about me painting her nails as soon as we got home. So I brought in some stuff, sat down, painted her nails, let them dry, and then she went to go play. Um, I put my shoes on real quick, went out, I had to grab the last three cases of pop. Okay, that was it. That's all I went out for. And she comes barreling out the door, down the steps, and into the yard where her feet got wet, her socks got wet screaming for me and I'm like honey I'm right here like get back in the house she was freaking out thought I was leaving her here obviously I'm not gonna do that I was just getting some things from the car but got her inside got her figured out got her some juice got her her tablet going got her a snack she's good um, but I wanted to show you guys everything that we got while I was at the store including her special little makeup bag as she calls it but I told you guys about wanting to get the acrylic nails and everything I went for my spa day which was hands down amazing it was so nice um so when I went in I went in at eight o'clock they were honestly surprised that I didn't cancel and not show up because of the snow we had gotten a snowstorm Overnight, there was about five inches of snow, but Tim was the deer. He, I knew I was gonna be taking the Subaru, so he cleaned off the snow that was on it and moved it and parked it in the garage, which we don't usually have access to the garage, but since everything flooded, our, or Tim's stepdad parked the BMW that's usually parked in our garage over town at his one rental apartment. Um, so our garage is empty. It's very small. It's a very tight fit for the Subaru, but it fit. So you got it in there so I didn't have to go out at 7 o'clock in the morning and shovel snow off of the car, which was amazing. He put gas in it. He got it all ready for me to go. All I had to do was hop in and go. So I left, went, got there at like 7.50, I think. I went ahead and headed in. Um... They were still getting the room prepped and everything, but that gave me time to order my lunch and everything that I wanted to get while I was there. I go in, the first thing that I did was got my massage. So I had never had a massage before. I didn't know protocols or anything like that. Um, she talked me through it, told me to take off everything except for my underwear. So I had to take off my socks, my shoes, obviously. Uh, my pants, my bra, my cami, and my shirt, and my jacket. You know, obvious things that I didn't need on for a massage. <clears throat> she said to keep the underwear on. And whenever she stepped out, she said just lay face down on the bed. Um, you can cover up. You can stay uncovered. Totally up to you. Um, I went ahead and just covered up. And then when she came in, she gave me a towel that I could place, like, to lay, lay on and wrap down around my breasts so that she wasn't seeing you know side boob or anything like that just out of respect for for everyone involved um she had little bottles of this like eucalyptus lotion scattered all throughout the room her hands never left my body for an hour it was amazing so um, at first, you know, I was laying face down. She massaged, like, my neck, my shoulders, and my back. Um, and then she, like, slid. She did, like, the way she did it was, like, she was, like, massaging my back. And when she went to go move down to my legs and my feet, she took one hand off and, like, started, rub like, massaging my calf. And then the other hand went down over my butt. Like, she didn't touch my butt. She just went like that. So there was at least one hand on me at all times. Um, <clears throat> that's why she had the lotion just kind of scattered throughout the room, um, so she could just kind of reach over, pump, and keep going, you know what I mean? So, she massaged my legs, my feet, and then she had me flip over, um, so that I was face up. She covered, like, you had me pull the, like, sheet and stuff up past my breasts. She massaged my, 
um, shoulders here and down my arms. <clears throat> Went back to my feet. Normally she said she wouldn't go back to the feet, that she would do the face and everything. But since I was getting my facial next, she didn't want to like rub my face raw or put any kind of lotion on it before my facial. So um, had I gotten my facial first and then got the massage, she probably would have done my face. But um, <clears throat> she told me to take a few minutes, take however long I needed to get up and get dressed, to just kind of lay there for a couple seconds and like let my body readjust and slowly sit up because I was laying face down almost for an hour. Um, she had me flip over face up for like the last 10 minutes I think so um, I like laid there I s could have fallen asleep at that point so I forced myself to sit up get dressed um, didn't put my shoes back on I did put my socks back on but I left my shoes off um, and then my jacket obviously they took me in I laid down I got my facial they did all kinds of different like creams and masks and stuff like that that they put on my face um, got that done when that was done I went in and got my manicure um, the paint application was not the best but it was decent you know it was pretty good um, after my manicure I went and got my pedicure <clears throat> so I just put the same color on my toes and my nails, um, my hands and everything, just the same color. Because I figured I was just going to keep that color for a little while. Um, <clears throat> oh man. <clears throat> I like throat. Um, anyways, so got my ped pedicure done. They put like the little flip flops on me. Took me out to get my hair washed and get sh like shampooed. Um, I don't think they conditioned, but they did curl, like, blow dry my hair, and then she curled it. Um, wasn't 100% thrilled with that either. I told her I wanted some, like, loose curls. She curled it, and it looked great, but then she took a comb to it and tried to brush through the curls, and it got real frizzy. So she did a couple more curls on the top layer of my hair just to kind of hide the frizz. And then she put a pound of hairspray in it, which I was not too thrilled on. Um, but it is what it is. Then after that, they took me back. I had my lunch, which wasn't that great. It, I didn't really care for the local downtown bistro that they got the food from. But I ate that. Went to the DMV. Got my license renewed finally. Came home. When I got home, my husband, Tim... Um, Ella, my nephew, and my sister-in-law were all here. Um, and we just kind of all piled into the car. We went up to Erie. <coughs> we took the kids to a jump house. Um, I was under the impression we were going bowling. Uh, but we ended up going to a jump house, which I would have rather went bowling because me and my sister-in-law didn't jump. Uh, my nephew's old enough to go by himself, and Tim went with Ella because the last time we were there for my nephew's birthday... I jumped with Ella the entire time. Um, so we were there for about two hours. And then we left there. And went to the mall. Um, I guess Tim had scheduled me a nail appointment to get acrylics on. Um, and my sister-in-law. So we left the nail place. Or no, we left the jump place at 520-ish. My appointment was at 6.15 for my nails. So I checked in. They did manage to get me in around 6. Um, but uh, for that 45 minutes or whatever, we just kind of walked around the mall. I went to Bath and Body Works, got some stuff. Me and my sister-in-law did. Um, and then they called me when I was checking out at Bath and Body Works. They told me that they were ready for me. So I went down, got sat down. They started doing my acrylics, which I will show you guys here in a minute. Um, and then, um, I guess Tim had booked my sister-in-law an appointment too. So we were supposed to sit side by side and get our nails done together and have like a little girl time. Tim would watch the kiddos and stuff like that. Um, well, my sister-in-law got in there and they didn't put the acrylics on. She just, they just ended up starting the gel polish. And she's one of the types of people she will say something when something is not right. Um, so she just kind of went with it and 
me and Tim told her, I said, the next time I go up to get my nails filled and repolished, we'll take you up. We can make a girl's day out of it. We'll take the two kids and you can get your acrylics put on because that was the deal. She had acrylic like press on nails um, on when we got her, like when she came up with us and she deliberately took them off. They were just like the adhesive, you know, they weren't glued or anything, but she deliberately took them off so she could get her nails done. And they didn't put the acrylics on like they were supposed to. Um, so, but then Ella saw my nails, didn't like the design at first because she had seen the blue and she loved the blue. So we took her in, she got her first set of nail polish done and it just kind of spiraled out of control from there. But, uh, yeah. I had to redo her nails today. So we got this done Saturday. It's now Monday. So we had Sunday, Monday, and the rest of Saturday that we had, that she had the blue nails on. Um, and like I said, the nail polish was already chipping, which I told Tim that was going to happen just because it's not gel polish. Um, it's uh, as sturdy and that's why I don't like painting my nails at home because I have to repaint them every couple of days. Um, <clears throat> but these are my acrylics. So they're a little longer than I would have liked, but I can manage. Um, so all of them are mostly like this. It's got the clear with the black French tip with a pink glitter stripe at the tip. And you've got the ring finger where it's cow print. So this is what my nails look like. Right here. She nicked me with the Dremel when she was, <coughs> when she was like flat or like rounding off the stuff that they put over top of the nail once they glue it on. Um, she nicked me with the thing and I like ripped my hand out of her hand because it hurt and it had started bleeding and she kept saying, or she apologized once, but like that hurt, okay? So, um... It happens, I know, I understand it. Especially, I could have like moved my hand just a little bit and she like nicked it or something. But, yeah. So I've got my nails done. Uh, total surprise, I had no idea that Tim was gonna do that, but I did also get, um, I didn't get a second pedicure because obviously I just gotten it done, but I do still have the blue polish from what I had gotten on um, prior. Ella got this little makeup bag today. Uh, it's like a little hollow bag. She absolutely loves it. Um, it's actually like, it says it's a cosmetic bag for like makeup and stuff, but we're using it for something a little different. So let me get all of this stuff out of here. And I'll show you guys what she picked. Okay, so this is the you other know, bag. It's like a see-through bag with like hollow. She picked out this blue nail polish, which neon pop, yacht, yada yada, like yacht, like a boat yacht. That's this color. Then she picked out the Sally Hansen Insta Dry, which I used to use this all the time. This is the color My Cabana, like Cabana, but Cab Cabana. So it's a yellow. Another one of the Sally Hansen Insta Dry. It's Beating Heart, like Beat, B E T, B E E T, Beating Heart. This one is a SP Dippin' Dots color. I absolutely love this one. This one is called Orange Cream. This is what she had me put on for her earlier. This is LA Colors Mermaid Magic. It's an iridescent nail polish. Um, Mystical, I guess is the shade for this one.
And then there's this one, which is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails. This is Sturdy Sapphire that she chose for her last color. Um, and then I just grabbed these. I thought these would be good for her. Um, they're just nail polish remover pads. So they're just like a little individual wrapped pads. <clears throat> um, it comes 10, a, 10 in a box. <clears throat> but I figured it was better than nail polish and cotton balls. They can fit right into this bag here. With all of her little nail polish. And then I have another color kind of color it's like a top coat in here somewhere i have to find it before i can put it in that bag <clears throat> but i picked up one of these for me and one for tim you guys can see tim's back here right here but this is a professional nail polish remover 100 percent acetone it says it easily removes artificial nails glitter polish nail polish gel polish nail glue and more um, I got this because I use this to take spray paint out of the inside of my cups and Tim uses it for some ABS stuff for 3D printing. So, <clears throat> um, so I grabbed us two bottles of these, one for me and one for him. Ella saw this while I was back looking for elastic and had to have it. Um, it's Dritz, it's a flexible LED light. I think it was only five bucks. I think it was on sale or something. Got myself some grapes. I got some cucumbers for Tim for salads. My elastic, which is the Dritz. It's eight yards. It's one fourth inch braided. You know, just elastic, nothing fancy about it, but it is elastic, so it will obviously stretch, because that's what elastic does. Um, I got a Super Mario fat quarter and a Harry Potter fat quarter. I thought this would be kind of cute if I could get this put on tumblers. So I got those. Um, there's her clear, ouch clear polish it's just the sally hansen diamond strength no chip nail color uh and flawless is the shade i guess so it's just a top coat for her for her polishes trying to help keep them on a little bit i did tell her that she was not going to be getting them done every day she will have to keep them on for a couple of days um before we recolor it like repaint them and she's not allowed to have the bag in between when we're gonna get it changed like i'll get it put up as soon as i'm done because she will get into it and she will open all the nail polishes and she will dump them all over the place so uh -huh. uh, then i got this fabric today at walmart where is the tag for it it is stuck to my other thing give me um it's one piece Polytechno. Uh, I got two yards. It was almost five dollars a yard. It came to nine forty nine ninety four for this. It's just two yards of this black fabric, which I think is a four way stretch or something. So it does stretch a little bit this way. It stretches more this way, but it does still stretch this way. So this I got for those baskets. Uh, back here for craft shows and I'm going to get my aunt to come down. She's going to cut the fabric, sew it up, and put the elastic in it so that it will fit down inside the baskets. So I got that. I grabbed three of these because they never have them when I'm up there anymore. So I saw them and I went ahead and grabbed a couple. Um, and it's the Great Value Jumbo Flaky Biscuits in the butter flavor. I thought I heard her coming out. Um, so I got three of those. Tim, one of these scotch Bright pads. I guess these are really good to scratch up his build plate to help with, <clears throat> with the material sticking to the build plate on his 3D printers. So he got those. <clears throat> I got them for him. <clears throat> I got this. It says, oh, okay. It's a 12 count thing of donuts. 
Um, there were three chocolate sprinkle, three regular chocolate, and then six plays. And then I grabbed these sugar donuts. Um, Ella wanted some watermelon, so she got some watermelon. And then Tim wanted some orange juice. So I bought him two more things of the Minute Maid pulp free orange juice. Um, anything else that I got was three cans of, or three packs of 12 of Diet Pepsi and three packs of 12 of the Mountain Dew Spark Zero Sugar. That's what Tim drinks. Um, oh, I also did get seven six by six by six shipping boxes, which will hopefully fit when I need it to. Uh, but yeah, that's everything that I got today. Yeah. Um, it was a pretty penny, especially with all of the nail polishes and stuff like that. But um, Tim paid for most of it except for the food, which I used our food card for, which I told you guys about that multiple times. But yeah, oh, I did pay for my fabric too. But Tim paid for pretty much everything else. But, yeah, um, I am going to get some food because I'm feeling a little dizzy, like lightheaded right now. Um, I get like that if I don't eat very much, like, or soon enough or quick enough or whatever. So I'm going to get some food real quick um, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. But real quick, with my nails like this. It's been so hard to undo her car seat buckle. Like I cannot get the crotch buckle undone very easily. So Tim's gonna 3D print me a thing that I can use to like pop open. Hopefully it works out good. I'll use it a couple of times and if I like it then I may end up listing it up on Etsy for other moms who have acrylics, but or just like weak thumbs or whatever they can't just like push it so um i am supposed to be getting an amazon package today i don't know if it's going to be delivered it said between 5 15 and 7 15 um it's 5 no it's 6 30 right now so i really don't know if it's going to end up getting delivered but we'll see um i need to get this stuff put away oh and gosh. i will catch up with you guys in a little bit <sighs> I am so tired right now. I could fall asleep. Um, still haven't heard anything from Amazon about my package. So I'm honestly expecting it to not get delivered today. And I'm getting real sick of this. Um, it happens like almost every single time I have a package that's supposed to be here. I never get it. And they can't tell me today that it's due to weather because it's not snowing anywhere um all of the snow that we got yesterday is gone it's all melted <sighs> i'm just i'm at wit's end with amazon and i don't know what else to do i've messaged the amazon personnel and they tell me that they will or that they can't stop shipping my stuff amazon it just depends on how their system puts it in and I just I've had enough I cannot stand it anymore so still waiting on that um, we have I ended up getting five Etsy orders yesterday um, there was an Udo box holder, another Udo box holder, a Rockzilla, another Rockzilla, a Rack Johnson, someone with his face is like breasts. Um, the one Rockzilla and the Rack Johnson ones were both in the same order. And then there's also another Udo card holder that came in yesterday. And then Saturday I had a pencil skull holder thing like order come in I just and then my Etsy buddy was getting sent to my account today so last night I had to 
purchase all the labels and have them set to ship out on the 17th or the 16th, uh, which is Wednesday. <clears throat> um, so. <laughs> Oh, it was either that or I was going to spend so much more um, if I went to the post office. So if I buy my labels through Etsy and print them out and everything at myself at home, it only costs about between 4 and $5 to ship, depending on the size of the box and the weight and everything. But generally it's around 4 to four fifty, which is like what I charge for everything. But... If I go to the post office, it's almost $7 for something that I pay, I think it's like $3.96 or whatever, $3.97 for at home. So I don't like to do that unless I absolutely have to. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we've got quite a few orders that need to go out this week. Tim's busy getting them all printed right now. Um, it's almost like sticky for whatever reason. Um, so he's working on that. We've got one of the Roxillas done. The other one's printing. We've got one Uno box done. Half of the second one is done, and then we'll have to do the third one. And then we've got the pencil skull holder mesh thing done so I have two and a half orders because the one Roxilla that we did get done is also the one that was purchased with other things um so those need to all get packaged up I'll probably just wait to do that um uh, because I don't want to be making a trip to the post office tomorrow and Wednesday So I will probably just wait and package everything up. I'm probably going to package it up tonight, but they won't go out until Wednesday, if that makes sense. So. Oh. I'm telling you guys, I could go for a nap right now. <sighs> I am crashing hard. Um, woohoo, I almost fell over, but I was not able to get very well, or get to sleep very well last night. I was up until I think like 5 o'clock this morning, before I actually ended up falling asleep. So this mama is exhausted. Um, oh. Just gotta get some stuff cleaned up, you know, get everything packed away. Not packed away, but you know, put away that needs put away. Uh. Oh, I got a glitter order though. I didn't end up telling you guys, I got it Saturday while I was up at my, um, Spa day, Tim got it from the post office for me. Ouch. I got a glitter order from the glitter guy. So, I did not get a golden duck though. I was really hoping I would, but I did not. Can you guys like tell I'm tired? <laughs> um, anyways, give me a second. Get back out here and I'll show you guys my new glitters. So I threw away the packing slip, which thinking back now I shouldn't have. I don't know where it's at right now, but show you guys what I got. <clears throat> so last time I got this elephant duck, you guys saw, 
this time I got an owl duck. So these are my two little glitter guy ducks. I love them so much. That's one that I had before. That's one I had before. They were having a deal where if you bought four shakers of glitter, you got a free one. So I ended up getting, I should have honestly bought two more colors of glitter and gotten another uh, small shaker for free, but that's okay. So this one is Reagan's Illness. Just like green color here. This one is another green color, but I like this one a lot more. This one is called Neverland. It's rainbow iridescent. There's this one, which they call high, high sparkling iridescent, which is what I want. This one is blue sky. So you've got this pink. This is bubble gum. This is my free one that I got for my four shakers that I've just showed you. It's a small one. It's obviously substantially smaller, but it was free, so it's okay. So it's orange color, and this is gritty, I think is the name of it. Yeah, gritty. The last two, I got this one. which is called True Blood. And then there's this one, which are both red. This one is called Ruby Slippers. Um, and then I got these, which I'm not 100% sure what these are. I think they're like mixing sticks or something. I got these two, they came with my order. I think they were just freebies that were thrown in. Um, and then I got a magnet. For the glitter guy. Um, yeah, it's just a little magnet. <laughs> um, so that's all the glitter that I got this go around. Um, I got everything. They were having like a huge sale. So that's primarily when I bought everything. Um, Except for, you know, these two color change, <laughs> color change ones. This one's the Glitter Guy too. This one was CreepsakeShops.com. Um, just because they, I, I haven't found any green to purple ones like this before. So I just went ahead and ordered from a different company. But the Glitter Guy is my go-to glitter place. Um, here, you know, over the next couple of days, I need to sit down and figure out what I want to do here in the next couple of days. Um, as opposed to my location and everything of my Etsy shop. So, my shop's not going to get shut down. Don't worry about that if you guys were like, what's going on? We got the new flooring in today. I'll take you guys out, open the wood flap, and show you guys what it looks like. Um, but we're going to start on the sunroom floor here in the next couple of days, I think. Um, permitted that Tim's feeling okay, you know, he's not feeling sick or anything like that, but then where his table is, it's going to become my spot. So I'm going to keep my table because I've got like epoxy and stuff all over it, but my table will get moved to where his is at. And then I want to build like a shelf of some kind that I can maybe like lock, um, so that Ella can't get into my glitters and stuff. Try and go out here without her like freaking out like she did the last time. I think what tips her off is she can like hear the the door close and I think that tips her off to hey someone just went outside where's mommy type thing. Um, so I'm going to come out here and show you guys the flooring. Hopefully I can show you guys anyways. So we've got a big old puddle here because we had like I don't know, like five inches of snow or something. Shoot, her windows down, I have to get that put up. Um, but we had quite a few inches of snow that all melted today, except for little spots here and there. 
but we got 14 boxes of flooring for the sunroom. Um, we only technically needed 13 boxes. That would have been enough, but with cut pieces, we wanted to make sure that it was, you know, enough. But, let's see if I can't get this open. I don't know if I'm going to be able to because of my nails. <laughs> I had to get the help of a stick. Hopefully this will help. Please let me get my nails under it. Come on. color that I originally wanted um, Tim went to order it and they didn't have enough boxes they only had I think eight boxes or something like that um, and it said it was like it discontinued they weren't gonna be making it anymore and I was super super bummed about it cuz I really wanted it but we didn't want to have so many different mismatched floors in our house we wanted it all to primarily be the same so we got this one and then we'll have the stuff that's in the bathroom which is a whiter color and then we're gonna have the stuff that's in the pantry and the kitchen but this stuff will eventually go through the sunroom our room the like living room area um, out to the kitchen but not into the kitchen and then I think we may end up doing her room too eventually um, in this design or color but this is the color that we went with um, I'll see if I can get it pulled up on uh, Home Depot so you guys can see what it all looks like because not every piece is gonna look this exact like shade it's like variations like how this is like there's some darker lighter spots so let me get the color which is Tupelo Oak. Okay, I'll let you guys, I'll show it to you guys in a second. Alright guys, so this is what it is. Tupelo Oak. So there's 20.6 or 20.06 square feet per case. This is what it'll look like when it's finished though. So it's got like variations of darker and lighter colors. Whoops. This is the one that I wanted the choice oak. I think that's what it was. But they didn't have enough of that. Or no, that wasn't it. Because it says they have 56 in stock. Oh, let me find the one that I want. Very good. So here's the diamond painting. Um, I've done the top section. I have this much that I need to do. Um, and the bottom section is done. Like right here and right here are all done. Um, this is the one, the last one that I have with the EB drill. So they're like much more sparkly than you know, other drills. You can kind of see it. There we go. Um, I'm loving how this is turning out. Um, hopefully I can get it done tomorrow or tonight. That's that's my ultimate goal, but it depends on if we work on the floor or if I can get it done tonight or not. Uh, I really also need to organize up here. I'm going to show you this. This is embarrassing, but this is like all of my like craft type stuff and like craft show everything. Order, order, order. We've got another one of these going, one of these going. 
Um, this is a cup for a craft show that I'm working on. I think I showed you guys. Um, so things are just kind of out of hand up here. Yes, princess. What's up? Clean up now. Excuse you. I will clean up your mess after you go to bed. You do not demand me to clean up your sunroom. Let me see your nails. Let's show everybody your nails. Let's show them how pretty. Let's look at my nails. So beautiful. It's sparkly, my friend, and my nails. Yeah, you got chocolate all over your face too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. We'll get it cleaned up, huh? Uh -huh. Let me see your pretties. Pretty, pretty. So this is that mermaid one that she picked out that I showed you guys I earlier. Chocolate. Okay. All right. Mommy's gonna go clean the kitchen. Okay. You go play in the sunroom. I'll clean up the sunroom later. Okay. Love you. Yeah. There's Rockzilla. The army green that was bought, and then we bought the black part of the Udo box holder. That doesn't have a top. That doesn't have a top. I hate when he doesn't have the tops on him because I can't just set them there. Um. But yeah. So hopefully we can get the rest of them done tonight. Not sure if we're gonna be able to though, but here's to hoping. I need to do dishes badly. I need to get this kitchen cleaned. It's like eight o'clock.